Hi guys, it's Jamie and today I have another edition of my product misses and it's just a video where I talk about products that I've purchased that didn't really work out for me the way I wanted them to or they didn't do what I wanted them to do and as always, just because I didn't like this product doesn't mean that you shouldn't like it. Sometimes what I don't like about it you guys actually will like about it. So it's kind of interesting and I do think it's good to hear the negative along with the positive on products. So let's get started into my product misses. First thing is a bunch of hair stuff. I had cleaned out underneath my sink and I think that's the place where every girl's hair stuff seems to like accumulate. And the first thing would be this Alterna Enzyme Therapy Hemp Hydrate Shampoo and it's Sulfate free, which is a good thing, but I found when using the shampoo on my thin, kind of volumeless hair that it tended to make it like stick together and it made it too like heavy, especially like people with thin hair, you don't really want to like weigh down your hair with too much moisture. Moisture is good, but too much on my hair isn't good. So this really kind of made my hair sticky, like where the strands would stick together and heavy, so I didn't care for it. However, it smells amazing. And this is an expensive like line of products, but it just didn't work well on my hair. And the same thing for this Rusk Sensories Moist Shampoo. I used to always use the Rusk Brilliant Shampoo and the Rusk Calm Conditioner. They both smell great uh, and work really well. But ever since I started using Lush Shampoo, I've noticed a difference in my hair for the better. It's not as dry. It kind of leaves it in its natural state where it doesn't weigh it, weigh it down and it's just easier for me to style my hair with using it. I love the Rehab and Retreat conditioner from Lush. So I use the Rehab Shampoo and Retreat conditioner and they're great. So I just don't care for this anymore. And this is another moisture shampoo. It smells really good, but it just weighs down thin hair too much. Another thing is this Style Primer from Sally Hirschberger. And this is, sometimes when I get out of the shower, I like to not brush my hair and just kind of crunch it and leave it wavy. So this is kind of a mousse. It comes in this pump and it comes out like this, but you can see it's like really watery. And it just doesn't really work well. I didn't really notice it doing any difference. You kind of put this in, hair, in your hair when it's wet, scrunch it, and it's going to prime your hair for whatever you put in afterwards. Make like the curling enhancing products work to their fullest. But even if I don't use this, I think I get the same effects out of those products without this. As a hair primer, I didn't really think that that was that good. And then I got this for free at Walgreens. And this is the Sally Hirschberger Shag Spray, and it's supposed to add like piecey texture to layered hair. So like spray it on your hair and then you can like piece out the ends so they're just a little bit sharper. So when you have layers, they'll just lay more piecey and sharp instead of just kind of all together. And I just didn't think that this worked at all for that. You're supposed to shake it up to activate it before you use it spray it on, piece it out. I didn't think this worked for that. If you're looking for a hair product to do that, I would go for this Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine instead. And the bottle says it's unique and hard to define. It gives hair polish and a sort of languid, slept in, sexy look. And I think that's just another way of like kind of piecing your hair out, making it look just a little bit more sharper, kind of, I don't know. I just really like this and I think it does what this is supposed to do, only better. And the last hair product would be this Hemp's Color Preserve Shampoo. I used to highlight my hair. I haven't highlighted my hair in two years, so my natural color, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, probably ends right about like here, and then this is where it used to be highlighted. So my ends are like a little bit lighter, but yeah, so I stopped highlighting my hair, and this is a color preserve shampoo and I just don't need to use it now. And the thing about this shampoo is it's kind of like chalky and it's just very drying. And I think that if you're coloring your hair, you want something too to like moisturize it. It just isn't a very good shampoo in my opinion. And this is a hairspray I purchased on clearance at my grocery store, my local grocery store. It's the Big Sexy Hair 
spray and play hairspray and this stuff is so sticky. You spray it on your hair and it's like dries and it's still sticky. I hate that. I hate hairspray that leaves my hair like really dry or sticky or clumped like together. And this one is the sticky, which I think is the worst out of all. But I couldn't get it to work in my hair. And again, this could just be one of those products that's just not good for really thin, flat hair. Maybe if you have thicker, coarser hair that this would be good for you, but for me it just didn't. So most of those hair products were like higher end. There's really no um, drugstore like products that I just mentioned. In my last product misses video I had a lot of people saying like, oh I'm not surprised it's all drugstore or whatever, but you know there's a lot of products that are high end that I think are bad too. So there is a bunch of hair ones that I didn't like. So moving on. So the next thing is some nail drying products. This is the OPI Rapid Dry Spray. It's empty so you can see that I've used it all before I give this a bad review. But it's a spray and I really don't recommend sprays for your nail dryers because you waste so much product. The spray goes on even if you get close then the air and the pressure of the spray can mess up your nails and so then when you spray it far it just goes everywhere and it's just not a good economic way to use your product although it does work very well in drying your nails now I do recommend getting one of these little eyedropper types this one's from Sephora it's 13 or 14 dollars it is by OPI it comes with in this little glass bottle and it has a little glass dropper which looks just like this and this is good, but it's $13 or $14, and you can get the OPI Drip Dry at Ulta, which looks like this, and I think it's for like $9 or $10, so you're saving money, and I do think that um, this works better. But this dries a lot quicker. It's amazing. You put this on your nails, and it really does a good job at drying them. It just leave it on. Try not to wash it off for as long as possible. It may look like the product's not on your nails after say like a half hour, but trust me it is. And the minute you wash it off, it's gonna like, if you hit it too hard, you'll, you're like at a false sense of how dry your nails are from this. It will kind of get smudged. So just leave this on for as long as you can and it really works well at drying your nails. Next thing is actually a razor. It's by Naxzema. And I like to use just double blade razors. I find that triple blade and like quadruple blade razors give me razor burn, especially underneath my arms. And this thing just sucks. You're gonna have to like go over the same spot eight times and it's so dull. It like does nothing to shave your legs. These are like the worst razors I've ever used. So stay away from these Noxzema disposable razors. I got it at Target and they're horrible. This thing is from Stila and it's the Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer and SPF 15. On my skin, this is like a pore magnifier. If you want to make your pores look like craters on your face, then I would use this. There's just too much. The next thing is actually from Benefit. You guys know I love Benefit, but just because something is Benefit Cosmetics, I'm not gonna be like, oh my god, I love it so much just because it's Benefit. I got this eye cream, it's called Icon, and it worked really well. You just I used it at night, it's very moisturizing, and it had a brightening effect, and I do think it did brighten my eye circles, but this is $38 or $34 at department stores or Sephora. You can see I've used it all. And I think that this Garnier stuff from the drugstore, that $13 works better. And for me, I'm older, I'm 27. It actually is good for like wrinkles. It's got anti-wrinkle firming eye cream. So I like this better. I think it does more. This is just kind of brightening and moisturizing and this just does more. It depuffs, it's anti-wrinkle and it's brightening. So, and it's cheaper and I think it works better. So there is that. And last things are some lip products. These are the little freebies you get from Sephora when it's your birthday if you have the Beauty Insider card. And I see why they give them away for free. They're just not very pigmented, very sticky. I just wasn't impressed and I could totally get why they give these three lip glosses away for free. I just really didn't like mine. Another lip gloss I hated, it's actually the color that I didn't like. It's from NYX and it's the Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Baby Rose. It looks like this. And I thought it would just be a pretty nice, neutral, shiny color. 
but it's just very clear and it actually makes, because I have kind of red lips, it like amplifies the red in my lips, so I didn't really care for this. So that is it for my product misses, and this is the second one of these that I have did, so if you haven't seen the other video, I'll put the link in the sidebar so you can check that out, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it found it helpful. Once again, just because I didn't like these products doesn't mean that you don't have to like these products. You may have them and love them, and that's fine. So that's it. Talk to you very soon.